2,355 pounds. This is the A122TH ESP series Rockwood folding A-frame camper, I guess, here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, we're going to do kind of a three-parter. We're going to start by showing you how the A122TH differs from the other members of the A122 Rockwood family, namely the A122BH front small deck, not uh, front big deck, uh, with flip-up dormer, and the A122S, which has no flip-up and has a storage trunk. Um, so what makes this one different? Well, quite a bit. The other two are very, very similar. This is, this is one that is obviously different. You can see it's obviously different from the color package right from the start. Um, the TH is part of the ESP series, Extreme Sports Package. This is the one that has all those little fun off-road, national park, desert camping, dry camping, boondocking goodies. We've also added a couple things to this that are not standard. So if you want to see what we have in stock, what we're asking, how it's equipped, we don't do hidden fees. You can get all that information right from our website, which you can visit in the link in the video description or just call our team here at Halet RV. So the two things we did to this is we added the solar package, more on that in a minute, and we added a power tongue jack. We figured with the potential weight you could put on the front deck of this, you're going to want that power tongue jack to make getting it up and down a lot easier. So, uh, you know, obviously, it's the, the toy hauler A-frame. Um, but the thing, I mean, it can haul a lot of stuff. What's cool is it comes standard with the Pro Rack bike rack mount system up here. So if you want to put bikes on there, you can. You could also just obviously put bikes down here. And you're asking, well, why did they do both? Because Rockwood's huge in standardization. Like this is constructed exactly like the rest of the Rockwood series, although we'll get into that more in the construction aspect of this. So you can put bikes there. You can leave this open. You can have open cargo here. You can put a four-wheeler there, kayaks, whatever. Now you see, I, I kind of set one of each up. The, uh, the wraparound deck rails double as loading ramps. And it's, it's funny, sometimes simple is just simply effective. All it takes to keep these uh, loading ramps from sliding around and falling off is just a simple bolt. All you do is just lace a bolt through, these, uh, through the lattice work of this deck and there you go. Now there's tie downs up here, there's four tie downs so you can keep your cargo strapped down. It's got a toy lock system up here which is another neat thing that the A122BH has that as well. Now what's kind of funny is the camper box portion is exactly the same layout from all three. Um, the uh, it, It's just all the appointments. So we added the solar to this, but what's crazy, and I, I got to check, um, they just uh, started offering solar on these, which I thought was a great idea. So it has a built-in solar charge panel, but it also comes with an external portable solar suitcase charge panel, and that can plug in up front, just like a Rockwood Geo Pro, the, the small uh, Rockwood series, you can actually have dual solar trickle charge on this. So like if you feel like throwing a 12 volt TV or something in here, you can really utilize this thing long term because it even has a 12 uh, volt fridge on here. We've got four corner stabilizer jacks and the aggressive larger tires give you that extra ground clearance. She looks so much bigger than the uh, the sisters with that big aggressive radial tire pattern on here. So I have the same outside shower. Like I said, the camper portion's the same. It's just everything that's outside of it that's different. Um, the uh, color package on here, obviously different. They wanted to do something to make this very obviously different from the others. Uh, as if the, the bigger tires and the front deck wouldn't have done that. They, you know, put the full color package on here just to really drive that home. The entire A122 uh, family, whether it's the S, the BH, the TH, whatever, they come with an outside grill. They come with a little side table. They also all come with a handy little porta potty so uh, if you do have those late nights or you're in the middle of nowhere or you just have a, a personal digestive challenge ibs something like that crohn's i don't know uh you know you can you can be all set there now inside again the decor of this is drastically different from the other two despite the fact that it's got the same floor plan so we still have the same front dinette but what they've done here is in the TH, in the ESP series rather, the Extreme Sports Package, they went with their a little bit darker wood tone because Rockwood has two different wood tones that they use and uh, um, different little uh, flooring set up in this. But you still have that floating table that can go uh, down into a sleeper. You can take that outside for uh, dining. You have the same front skylight so that four people can sit here. You have that same 12 volt ceiling pan to give you some awesome airflow. Propane furnace for heat when you're off the, off the grid. Um, We've got our Cool Cat uh, heat pump system over here, which is when you have park power or a generator, 
Uh, you have electric heating or cooling built into that. Heated mattress, easy lift to get to the storage below. Your TV hookups, again, this is begging for a 12-volt TV to put in it. They're a little tricky to find, but, I mean, just Google it. It's not that bad. We can probably get them for you through our parts and service center here at Halet RV. Even the way that the door has a ventilating window in it right here is something where Rock was just knocked it out of the park. So that gives you a quick flyby. Stay tuned, and what we're going to do is we're going to really dig into how these are constructed. And then we're going to show you how one of them goes up and down because the process is really the same on any A-frame. And at any point, you have questions. All you have to do is click that link in the video description or give our team a call here at Halet RV because remember, we, we publish fair market pricing and we don't engage in the practice of hidden fees. Simple, easy, fun. God forbid recreational vehicles be a little bit fun. <laughs> so stay tuned. Okay. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halet RV and I want to show you how these A-frames go up and down. It's actually kind of a lickety split thing. The first thing you want to do is you start by unlatching the door because this is a bisection door and obviously the door has to go down with the wall. Now if you step in here with me, thanks to the assistance of Mr. Uh, Big Scott McKinney, our cameraman today, this is one of the big tricks with these. This is the first one you should unlatch and it's the last one you should latch. Because if you put this uh, wall down or the other wall down, unless you got long arms like mine, you can't reach this thing. So you got to do this one first and last. Then you start working your way around the coach and you just do it the opposite order on the way through. So we're going to move over here now to this one. And at this point, nothing's coming down at us. But after this, every one that we unlatch is going to start coming down. So you folks are going to start backing out of the camper. But you're going to notice this is all lightweight, aluminum framed. It is easy to manage. It's not hard to juggle. So you're going to set this one down right here. The pads keep everything from getting dug up. And there's always a funny point when I'm standing in here showing this to a customer. And they're like, all right, smart guy, how do you get out of the camper? Well, you actually kind of sneak out of the door. We're going to close our little pocket door here. Hold on to this part of the door, unlatch this, and we just duck and slide right out of it. Just like that, lickety split. So we're going to hop out. Make sure you close the door behind you, otherwise the door is going to be on the wrong side of the fold. And really, it's just as easy as flip it and flop it. That's all there is to it. Latch them down, you're all done. Easy peasy. Now there are some that do have a power lift. The process is all the same in how you put the interior walls down. Just instead of pushing up on it and letting it fold itself, you stand here and push a button for 30 seconds and let it close itself. That's all there is to it. If you have questions, you give our team here at Halet RV a call, 800-256-5196. Largest independent standalone dealer in the state of Michigan, guys. We're also one of the largest pop-up dealers in the state of Michigan. I don't think that's a coincidence. Give us a call, we'll get you camping. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. You ever see that show, How It's Made? This is gonna be Rockwood A-Frames here at Halet RV, How It's Made. So the thing that I like the most about Rockwood A-Frames is that they're very consistent. They're constructed the same way across the entire family. And that doesn't just apply to the A-frames. It applies also to their travel trailers and their fifth wheels. Rockwood builds everything one way, the same way, every single time. And it's that consistency that helps lead to a lot of their quality here. So you've got all aluminum framework. The only part of this that's not laminated is actually the floor. But this is the same floor system that they've used uh, for years. And it's literally the floor system used in the number one selling family of uh, fold down campers. So whether it's tent campers, A-frames, Rockwood is literally the number one. They sell 50% A-frames and 50% tent campers. And that pretty much mirrors our numbers that we see here at Halet RV. They're both very desirable. They both appeal to very different people. Now, other than the, the ones with the dormer, and an A-frame without the flip-up front dormer. They come with the Pro Rack bike rack up there. So that's a new addition at the time of this filming. That wasn't there last year's standard. It is now. It gives you just the easiest way to put your bicycles on there. I do recommend you take the bikes off before you raise and lower the roof, just so it's easier to manage. Um, they, uh, they are all solar prep. They have a little plug on the front for quick solar prep. Six gallon uh, auto ignition gas water heater. It's a six gallon vessel, but it'll give you 11 gallons of recharge per hour. They all have a propane furnace standard. They all have a three way refrigerator standard. That uh, is uh, 12 volt powered or 110 park power or um, prop or, yeah, propane power. So you get three outlets there. They all have an outside shower that does connect to the water heater, so you do have hot and cold water service. They do not have a gray tank. They do not have a black tank in the A122 family, at least. There are specific 
um, bathroom floor plans. They have their own cassette tank. The, the specs for that will be in each individual listing. But this is a straight pipe right off the, the, uh, the sink, so you do need one of those little blue tote tanks to go with this. They have independent torsion suspension. Each wheel has independent movement. They don't, the axle doesn't rock back and forth. The back of this, that's our cool cat heat pump. It's an electric um, bi-directional heat pump. It can either be an electric air conditioner or an electric uh, um, heater. So you can kind of choose which way you want it to go. Now the rear pocket of storage out here through the A122 family, uh, they make the storage come to you and that's something Rockwood's been good about for years. Now these struts right here, these are high wind assist struts. So if you're putting this up and down in really windy situations, which they don't recommend, that'll help with that quite a bit. Um, the uh, uh, BH right here has this front uh, you know, bike holding rack. It's it's kind of the the evolution into the full toy hauler here. But the construction's the same. The only thing you have different here is the dormer. But what I like is it's still all aluminum framed, all laminated, all hard sided. There's still no canvas being introduced to these. I don't understand the idea. Uh, I see sometimes uh, I've seen A-frame manufacturers who have a dormer but they have canvas sided dormers. It doesn't make sense. Now when you get to anything with a dormer, any, any flip up or the high wall uh, Rockwood hard side campers here at Halet RV, then you're going to get the power lift uh, because it's either too tall or too heavy to reasonably expect somebody to wrestle with it. So they kick over there. Now all of these have four corner power stabilizer jacks. They all have very travel trailer like um, dual propane tank systems with automatic changeover regulators. On the uh, the power tongue jacks are optional on these. Uh, we have seen our customers pretty much, you know, a, a very very obvious statistical demand that the the regular A frames here. They're like we we don't need a power tongue jack on that. And if you do, guys, if you're the person that wants them, we have them back in the parts and service center here at Haylet RV. No big deal. They're an easy swap. Um, but your high wall models, those are the folks who go, yeah, I want everything. I'm not trying to stay small and reasonable. I want it all. Now, your colors may be different, but your construction's exactly the same here when you get into the ESP uh, Sport Series. All of your uh, Rockwoods all have LED lighting, both your markers and your taillights. Like you look at the taillights and you're like, oh yeah, I can I can understand it's LED. But these marker lights look traditional, but they are LED elements inside there. Um, they all come with a grill. They all have a nice little uh, porta potty that uh, in the A122 family, at least. Uh, again, the models that have their own toilet have their own toilet. No need for that. Um, so the grill, the little side work table, you know, that's all included. The When you go to the uh, ESP series and you get the bigger tires, they go to a double step so that it's easier to get up and down. And I think that's a really smart decision that they put on there. Um, the Anything with a front metal deck has a toy lock security system so that you can keep your bicycles and stuff ready there and waiting for you. Um, they all have four corner stabilizer jacks. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm kind of, this is not my normal way of doing things, but I so rarely get a chance to put three things like this side to side to side, head to head to head, as it were, and uh, to go through them. Um, what I like about their storage trunk, a lot of brands have a separate uh, add-on storage trunk. It's all integrated. This is purpose-built. It's all laminated together, so there's no like seams where water can get between the trunk and the box and cause mold and mildew. That drives me nuts. So, when you step in here, just a couple things to point out. That's our, that's that heat pump I was telling you about. Now, they all have a flush-mounted stovetop so that uh, you get a little more prep space, and they all include standard to sink cover. So once again, we have some usable, functional prep space. All LED lighting inside. You've got night privacy shades to both block out hot sun and to give you privacy at night when you're sleeping. You'll notice those skylights and your windows are very dark from the outside, but you can't see into them. Uh, but at night, some of that goes away, so they still give you the privacy shades. They all have plenty of windows for open ventilation. They all include the 12-volt Max Air uh, fan here, so whether you're boondocking or you are park camping, you can fire that up and give yourself some great airflow in here. They all have uh, some form of like floating table you can move around that can fold down into a sleeper. You can take that outside if you need picnic-type setups, and they waste nothing. They're storage below every single area they can. Um, that pretty much should give you an idea how these are put together. Oh, little TV hookups, microwave. I've always kind of referred to these as a fold-down travel trailer as much as a pop-up camper. And uh, stay tuned with us, because uh, if I can get someone to follow me around, we're going to uh, show you how one of these go up and down. I just got to go get myself a huckleberry. <laughs> so take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping everyone, and here's how they go up and down.